The Royal Ontario Museum is marking a big birthday this weekend. And to celebrate, the museum is offering free admission. You get the present. Kelly Harper is the president, vice president of visitor experiences at the ROM. She joins us with more details on this. Thanks for being with us today, Kelly. Thank you for having me on today, Melissa. Appreciate it. Okay, what do we need to know about free admission this weekend? So what you need to know about free admission is you need to dress for the weather first and foremost. So your safety and security and making sure you have a great experience when you come on the weekend is first and foremost in our minds. So there may be times throughout the day that you might have to wait a little bit because we want to make sure when you get into the building, you have lots of space to walk around, lots of space to enjoy yourself, to push your strollers. Um, and really enjoy your time here. But we're open 10 to 5.30. It's a very big building, and we know we'll be able to accommodate anyone who wants to come by this weekend. Can you talk to us about some of the exhibits people will be able to see? I can. So uh, there's a couple of great exhibits you'll see. One of them that will be actually closing um, after Sunday, and that's Zool. He's a 75 million year old dinosaur. Um, an armored dinosaur with you know, a thorny type head and this amazing tail that he used to defend himself with. Um, and what's so unique is it's an end-to-end -end skeleton. It's the whole skeleton and it's part of a, our ROM collection. And so that's on display. The second is one of our special exhibitions that you would normally have to pay a surcharge for you can access on the weekend. And that's Death, Life's Greatest Mystery. And that's all about you know, the transformation of life to death in nature, how different cultures celebrate life and death. Um, and it's a really wonderful experience. And at the end, there's an opportunity for you to leave messages for loved ones that may have passed on. It's a wonderful experience. Uh, and it closes April 7th, so it's a great weekend to come and see that. The next is lifers. Um, Noelle Hamlin, a Canadian artist, has taken pieces of clothing and she's created life jackets out of them. And it really speaks to, you know, with fast forward fashion and how we're contributing to landfill, all this excess. And so she's created this really beautiful experience in demonstrating how we can reuse, you know, clothing in a really different and unique way. And that closes early April as well. So that's a super opportunity uh, to come and see all of that. It's pretty incredible to think that the ROM has been around for more than a hundred years now. I wonder how it's transformed, how it's grown over that time. Well, I like to say we don't look a day over 102, <laughs> and, but it has transformed incredibly. So if you think about when the ROM first opened in 1914, it was actually five separate museums. So a ROM Act was created in 1912 between the University of Toronto and the Government of Ontario, and there were five separate museums, Royal Ontario Museum of Archaeology, Paleontology, Mineralogy, Zoology, and Geology, and they acted as separate museums. And then in 1933, the facade that you see from Queen's Park, that, this magnificent building, and I'm standing in the rotunda now, was created and opened and created many of, uh, of the original galleries. And then in 1955, all those museums were brought under one ROM museum, one Royal Ontario Museum. And in 1968, we became an agency of the province of Ontario. And since then, we've continued to evolve whether it was creating space for our really important research and the curatorial and care of our 13 million objects. And then Renaissance ROM is probably what Torontonians will remember the most. And that's when the Michael Leachin Crystal opened in 2007 along with 10 new galleries. And even just recently in 2021, our Dawn of Life Gallery opened. So we're continually looking for new opportunities to bring experiences to Torontonians and Ontarians and people from all over the world. Just so you know, Kelly, as we've been talking, we've been showing a lot of videos showing all of your dinosaur exhibits. I certainly love those. I wonder if you have a favorite section. Well, one of my favorite sections is a section people maybe not go into. Um, and it's across from where I'm standing, and it's called Earth's Treasures. And inside, there's a 900-carat stone 
called the, uh, the light of the desert and it's a cellulite and it's absolutely amazing. And in the back of the gallery there is a vault that probably rivals any Tiffany vault. And it's really amazing because you can go in and touch some of the minerals and you can see the splendor that nature has given us. Um, and it's not to be missed. Some people might miss it on a trip. Check it out. All right, thanks for that. Kelly Harper with the Royal Ontario Museum. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you very much.